Hello everyone, this is Febo. I believe we have all been impressed by what Nano Banana can do, but it comes with limits. Now it's no longer free with unlimited usage, and it is censored, which means you cannot use it to generate some images, such as those adult-related images. In this case, let me introduce to you the ConvI Chenven Image Edit Plus. This is an open source free model without any limits or censorship. As you saw from the opening of the video, it can do almost everything Nano Banana can do. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use it step by step and provide some advanced tips to help you create a better result. If you are new to ConfUI, please install ConfUI on your local PC first. Here. Or you could just run ConfUI on the cloud computer like this one here also free i will provide all the related links in the video description below and the confui community has added native support for this new model you just need to update your confui to the latest version after that open the chenven image edit plus basic version workflow i provided open it in confui after download the workflow you could just drag this workflow to a confui and release it will automatically open the workflow for you. If you got any missing notes error, just click manager and install missing custom notes here to install all the missing notes. If you haven't downloaded the model files, follow the instruction in this note here to download all the model files to the specific place. Just click and download this model to this place. MVI models, diffusion models, Go to your ConfUI folder, go to Models folder and find the Fusion Models and click Save. There are two slightly different models for you to use. One is the one you just downloaded and another one is the BF16. We just downloaded the FBA one. If you have a more capable GPU, you could download this one. As you can see, the file size is much bigger, so the requirement is much higher. You can choose either one according to the capability of your local PC. You can also use a GGUF version like this one. The GGUF version has much less requirement. It only requires like a 8 gigabyte of VRAM to run. Click download this file and also go to ConfUI folder, models folder. This one is not going to the diffusion models. It goes to this unit folder as you can see from here. You could put it here, click save. And this is a speed up LoRa. You could use the four step LoRa or the eight step LoRa. I myself, I like to use the eight step BF16 version. You could choose one of these four. You could also use the V2 version of the base model here. You will not get an error. But from my testing, it doesn't get much better. So I still use this dedicated acted LoRa. Either one is okay. Here, click download and go to your ConfUI folder. This one goes to the models and lowers here. You could create a subfolder just for clean things up. I put it here. ConfUI models, lowers and chairman. Click save. And the text encoder. Just click and download it. And this one, VAE, just click and download it. Nothing special. Remember to put it here. ConfUI models, VAE folder and the text encoder folder very clear a small tip here if you are a professionalist and you just want the best result you could bypass this speed up LoRa here this a step lightning LoRa and increase the steps here to 20 or 30 or 50 as you want right click this node and click bypass it will bypass this node uh, not using this speed up LoRa the quality will get a bit better, but it will be slow, of course. And if you want to enable this lower again, just right click again and click bypass. It will enable this node. The cloud computer version is the same. It's just that you don't need to download or install anything here. Everything is set up for you in the cloud computer. Just open the link I provided and click launch on cloud. And then you can start your creation right away. The workflow structure here is simple. The first part, the model loading, and load the models. 
if you wanna use the GGUF version, at this node, GGUF load KJ. Why this node? Using this node, you can select use Sage Attention if you have it installed on your local PC. It is really, really fast, but it's not supported on my old 2080 tie, so I can only use this SDPA Attention. And select the GGUF model you downloaded and link to here before the lower. And that's all. It is compatible with the native nodes. Remember to install the ConfigUI GGUF and update the KJ nodes to the latest version. This one, the GGUF node, and this KJ nodes. Or else you might not be able to use this new GGUF load KJ node. And here, Clip model and the VAE model. The second part, upload the images you want to edit here. If you want to do multi-image editing, enable the load image node as you want. Right, right click and bypass to enable it. The third part is the prompts. The positive prompt and the negative prompt. The positive prompt here means the things you want the model to do. The negative prompt here means the things you don't want the model to do. The next part is the case sampler. Here you can adjust the seeds, set it to fixed or randomized. Different seeds generate slightly different result. And the steps. To some extent, more steps, better results. And the CFG value. Change it according to the value the model provider recommended here. And here you can also set the size of the result image. And link it to here. But be cautious when using this one. Since if the final resolution is a mismatch with the input image, you may get some weird artifacts. That's why they just leave it here. That's all for the workflow. It's quite simple. Now let's see some real examples. Start with the simplest, the single image edit. Here, turn this woman's face to facing the camera. I use this prompt, the woman facing the camera, input image here. And the result is you can see here. Quite amazing, it's the same people. And the second one is the text edit. This is the input image. And this is the prompt I use. Change the text added in the image to text tight. And here's the result. Tight. As you can see. Edit. Change to tight. Other parts remain exactly the same. The font type and the font size all keep a very high fidelity. And another one is change the pose of the character. This is the input image. This is the post reference. Since I don't have a post image, so I use this DW post node to extract one from this image. The post is like this. And this is the input image. And let's see what you got. See? Exactly like the input image here. This one. And the face, high consistency with the input image. It can also do a face swipe. This is the input image, and this is the face, and this is the result. Doesn't seem so good, but at least he has this capability. You may need to run a few more times to cherry pick and get a satisfying result. And the next one is like this one. This is the input image, and this is a room, and I wanted to put this character in this room. This is the prompt I use. The woman from image 1 is sitting on the best side from image 2. The model understands a prompt like this. You can refer to the input image as image 1, image 2, just like Nano Banana. Or you could just type in what the final scenes looks like. The model will take into account all the reference images and the prompt to figure it out. You could use the prompt like this one. Or you could just use a prompt like this one, the woman facing the camera, just describing the result. Either one is okay. You could try both. Here, put this woman on the bad side, sitting on the bad side. Still perfect. The fidelity, the consistency, and the next one. Let's try some product showcasing. Here. This is the input image again, and this is a lab boo. This is the prompt I use. Very simple. Just describe what you want in the final result. A woman holding a doll in a room. And then, here's what you get. 
exactly the same. Nothing changed. The labubu and the face. It's good for product showcasing this model, really. And uh, let's go further. Let's see if it can hold the dough in a room while change the pose, like this one here. This is the input image, this is the labubu, and this is the pose image, pose reference image. And the, the, here's the prompt I use. The woman from the image 1 holding a doll from image 2 using the pose from, in, from image 3 keep the background of image 1 unchanged. And here's the result. Yeah, the pose changed. The lab book keeps the same and the character keeps the same. The leg seems to be stretched a bit since it has to be fit with this pose reference image. Stretched a bit from the input image. But the details and the other parts are still perfect. And finally, let's try some virtual try on. Look at this one. This is the ODT outfit and this is the input image. Be careful about the prompt here. The virtual try on um, seems not working so well. You need to be very careful about the prompt. You need to describe them one by one, like here. The person from image one wears all the apparel in image two. There are silver and brown headphones, a cream shirt, grey trousers, and black and white striped shoes. And here is the result. The face not changed, the headphone, the shirt, the trousers. Ah, the shoes is a bit off. The tips of the shoes is a bit off. For this, you need to try a few more times to get a better result. Sometimes you get better result by stripping the original clothes before the try on here. Like strip all the clothes of this woman. Reduce the unwanted reference to help the model better understand your needs. You can use this, this Chamberlain image edit mannequin clip lore for pre try on preparation. But as the author of the lore said, this model is not intended to be used on real human photos. It should only be applied to AI generated mannequin images. So make sure to use it responsibly. Apply only within the boundaries of the law. Respect the rights, consent, and the safety of the others. Yes, so just use this law art for the pre trial and preparation, no other things. And you may have noticed. Sometimes the generated result will shift a bit like this. You can see the character in the image shifted towards the left. There's a node to improve this. The Comp UI Chairman Edit Utilis. This is the result of using this node. Not perfect, but the shift is much less, as you can see here. And this one, this one shift more, the original one. And the only thing you need to do is just to change these, these two clip nodes to the one from this node, this single node. And this supports five reference images, but for my testing, it still needs improvement. And to use this node, you need to download this whole repository to your custom nodes folder and unzip it like this. Go to your MPUI folder and the custom nodes. Save it here and then go to the folder. Right click and use any unzip file to unzip this file like this one. Unzip, unzip here. Or you could use git to clone this repository to the custom node folder like this. First copy the link here and go to your custom notes folder double click here and type cmd press enter there will be a command line prompt pop up and then you could type in git clone and paste the link you just copied and then press enter it will automatically clone the whole repository to your custom nodes folder, like this one here. When all is done, restart your Comfy UI here. 
and reload the whole page. After all this, you could use this note. And that's all for today's video. I hope it can be of some help. If you think this video is helpful, please like the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.